Uh, Samantha B is apparently back from, uh, I think she took a break from doing her show. You can tell because of the aroma of bitch that fills the studio <laughs> at TBS. Pungent. Um, she is, I believe, the worst offender of completely taking clips out of context. She did it this week. Well, first, l l let's watch her set it up. First, after briefly banning Kellyanne Conway for being a flaxen-haired fountain of lies, CNN let her back through the gates straight into Jake Tapper's cage. And they haven't fed him this week. Oh, so catty. She's a strong woman. <laughs> what was she talking about that was so, that was so, uh, just, it, it was just such an own, such an epic fail for Kellyanne Conway. Here's the montage she showed her audience. Saying that we don't cover terrorism, that's just false. It sprays of falsehoods coming from the White House. How about the president's statements that are false? Falsehoods, false, false. Damn, Jake. At first glance, Ooh. yeah, it would look like Jake got the better of those exchanges. Right. Now, it's, it's, it's easy to look as though you mopped the floor with someone when you don't show any of their responses. <laughs> it's like arguing with a kung fu doll. Here's the thing with this. Taking someone out of context, we get this a lot. They go, oh, you edited a clip. You edited a video. We get that a lot when we do hidden camera videos. Yeah. All videos are edited. All clips are edited, okay? By, by its very definition, if you have 19 hours of raw footage and you have a 10-minute video, um, that's selectively editing. So I don't, I don't want to claim that here. Here's what's important. Editing out of context means you're making something look to be uh, an event that it wasn't. Maybe even making it look to be the opposite. So Samantha Bee does this, and she's not really making comedic points. She's using it to make political points. Look at her sources on the show. It's almost always Salon, Vox, uh, Daily Koss, uh, Huffington Post. So you know where she's coming from. No context was provided. Here is how Kellyanne Conway uh, answered those, you didn't even see the questions, you just saw accusations of false, but you tell me if it looks like an owned. What the president is saying there, Jake, is that there are other attacks that don't get as much coverage. Obviously, the very sad incidents that you related were, frankly, CNN did amazing coverage. Well, I did this past week, and I regretted it tremendously because I used the wrong word to describe something several times. And I'm sorry, because I've spoken literally millions of words on TV, I'm sure. I'm handed the information, I think you referred to it as well, that we have had an increase from 2014 to 2015. Yeah, I said that. In rapes and murders and assaults. I'm probably looking at the same data you are. Hmm. Sounds pretty reasonable. Reasonable, yes. And you know what? Maybe even Jake, maybe Jake Tapper even got the better of her in that interview. Maybe it wasn't Kellyanne Conway's strongest interview. I'd advise going to watch it, the full 25-minute interview. I think we have it up at louderwithcrowder.com. Mm -hmm. uh, but it certainly wasn't an owning. An owning, no. And, and, Smack and, down. And one could say that's an isolated incident, but in that's the very it. same show, I would argue, taking out of context. Minutes later. Minutes later. Minutes later, Samantha B presented the debate between Senator Ted Cruz and Senator Bernie Sanders as going down like this. I disagree with Ted who wants to give incredible tax breaks to millionaires and billionaires. When my dad went to Texas in 1957, when he was 18, he couldn't speak English. Incredible tax breaks to the top 1%. Okay. And Bernie's solution, you know, I'm reminded of an old Saturday Night Live skit with Christopher Walken, where they're playing in a band and he keeps ringing the cowbell. Now, that being said, Ted Cruz didn't make it's, that joke sound incredibly serious. <laughs> it was very poor delivery. Poor yeah, delivery. I'll give him that. Now, why did the chicken, now, now, why did the chicken cross the road? Vote for me. So, <laughs> I, I'll give her that. But here's the thing. They tried to make it seem as though Bernie was substantive. That's probably the one time Bernie ever referenced numbers, right? It was the top 1%. Yeah, so it's not really a yeah. fact as much as just... It's just a figure. And they try to make it yeah. sound like Ted Cruz was nonsensical and just going off on tangents as though it wasn't clearly Bernie Sanders looking like someone trying to escape the old folks' home. Uh, or just wandered in playing Pokemon He didn't make it Go. out, by the way. No. No, I'm still there. No. Uh, where's Dragly Pop? Hashtag pray for Bernie. <laughs> Hashtag pray for Bernie. <laughs> so this, this is important to note because even, even impartial observers said, you know what, this was not a good showing for Bernie, um, which shows you that Samantha B can't even be honest in her assessment. We genuinely try to be honest here, at least object. And I know we, have bi we all have inherent biases. So, so I'll forgive that. But the proactive editing, if you watch her show all the time, and then afterwards she does something so dishonest, trying to give herself a pat in the back, watch. I can honestly say I would give my left tit to have either one of you wonderful mansplaining pricks in the White House right now. Right now, and everyone cheers. This is why Donald Trump should not apologize. This is why conservatives out there should not apologize. 
This is why guilted, browbeating, dear white people should not apologize. Because this is what the left does, right? They go, well, now because of Trump, Ted Cruz, just like they'll say, well, you know what? Compared to Trump, John McCain is okay, or Mitt Romney is okay, or Mitch McConnell is okay, or Ted Cruz is okay. They say it now when they're no longer a threat. But when those same people, if you go back in time, when every single one of them was politically relevant, they got the exact same attacks and treatment as Donald Trump. You were racist, xenophobic, transphobic, homophobic. They only try and concede some ground when you're no longer running for office. So Samantha Bee now trying to act as though she would take the moral high road. Well, not all Republicans are the same. Donald Trump is really bad. I could have been okay with Ted Cruz. Well, here's what she actually had to say about Ted Cruz. Who is Ted Cruz and why is he so hated and how come he always looks like he's covered in a glistening layer of slime even though we know that can't possibly be true? <laughs> Does Ted believe in dominionism? I hope not. It certainly contradicts that book he memorized in high school while no one was having sex with him. Even God cannot stand to have a direct conversation with Ted Cruz. By the way, after that, she volunteered her time for an anti-bullying campaign. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It, it wouldn't be so hard to swallow if you know they didn't just turn around and I can't believe that our president said P God literally hates Ted Cruz. You said a naughty word. <laughs> uh, and this is something we, you know, this is what we streamed. The, you were, you, you were yeah. both there. You were both there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was mostly there and not you after were, the yeah, fifth well. beer. Um, we <laughs> live streamed true. the entire debate. The entire debate. And we encourage people to watch the entire... We did it with every single presidential debate and primary debate. And we left it all up. We didn't just cut the highlight reel no. for you. And you know what that means? Is, is we can't hide in the kind of dishonesty that the left does. No. When, if we watch an entire debate, for example, if we watch the whole debate, and if Bernie Sanders really mopped the floor with Ted Cruz, we would have to go, well... This doesn't look, this is not a good day for Ted. You know why? Because we would look silly if we simply lied to you. Are you going to believe me or your lying eyes and ears? So we, we provide as much context as possible, and it keeps us somewhat accountable. And this shows you, again, the left is a system of ideas and certainly a political platform today that relies on giving you less information. It relies on keeping you in the dark. It relies on not informing you as to how economics work, on not informing you as to how taxes are procured. It, it, it relies on not informing you as to how expensive healthcare is. It relies on less information, whereas the Big Ten, I don't even say conservatism, but conservatism, libertarianism, uh, whatever Dave Rubin is, ism, actually requires more information more and that you keep us accountable i don't know maybe it's just me hey if you like this video subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe if you're not aware of it now there's no way you're learning the internet at this point i'm not going to help you but this was clipped from my daily show available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members if you're student military or veteran entering that promo code it's less than six dollars a month and you get daily content no more clips plus this hand etched mug oh i just when i feel it i got a chill like on the inside